We stay in a lot of hotels as we adventure across the United States and overseas, but one question remains. Is it worth it to stay in a fancy hotel, a more luxurious hotel, as opposed to one that's a little less luxurious? We are staying tonight in Denver at a little bit of a fancier hotel at Kimpton Bourne and downtown Denver, and we're going to see is it worth it to spend the extra money to stay in a fancier place. What do you think, Kev? Do you think it'll be worth it? I'm not sure. You know, uh, it's like when you go out to eat a nice meal, you can easily be disappointed if you have to pay a lot for it. It's true. So your expectation is much, much higher. You know, if you go to McDonald's, you're getting the same thing you always get. Yeah, and so we have these perks. So one of the perks with our American Express card is that we get like a night at one of these hotels, basically. In addition to that, we also get some credits when we're there. We're supposed to get a room upgrade and $100 in credits that we can use at their restaurant. So we have reservations at the restaurant and we will be staying at the hotel. So we also have Coda and they do allow pets. So that's another thing. You can even tell them ahead of time. Now, I told them ahead of time, but I don't know. I didn't ask specifically for this, but you can tell them that you want a pet bed and they will even have a pet bed brought to your room and they have a sitter that can come and keep your pet as well so stay tuned I'm sweating it right now because Taylor and Eric and Kenzie they all went to their hotel and it's very fancy we were very out of place in our ski clothes and our jeeps with mud all over them Kimpton Bourne is located in downtown Denver's Lodo neighborhood and Colorado's transportation hub right at Union Train Station. It is Union Train Station's new LEED Silver Certified Luxury Hotel with floor to ceiling windows in each room with original artwork. It made the list of silver status best hotels in the USA in the US News and World Report 2022 and Travel and Leisure 2022 coined it one of Travel and Leisure 500 World's Best Hotels 2022 award winners. The architect and culinary details are crafted to convey an elegant vibe with a modern alpine aesthetic. <laughs> cool, huh? This hotel is super pet friendly. When you come in the door, they've got a VIP station, very important pets station where they can get a drink. And uh, they've got treats for all the pets, which is really nice overall. And they just want to love on your dog. It's great. And it doesn't cost anything additional. So we have all kinds of credits and little perks and things like that. We got an upgrade, so let's just see if you can see. Here's our view of downtown Denver. Look at this. We've got a little welcome of some cheeses and meats. Cool thing about this hotel, we even have a sanitized yoga mat and also an umbrella. So just little touches, not that I'm ever gonna use that yoga mat, but it's kind of cool if they have it. Check out the bathroom. This huge bathroom with a big walk-in shower. And the people here are so kind and so nice. And a toilet room. Now, I do have one concern, and that is I have no idea if Coda is going to be willing to go to the bathroom on the cement because I don't know where you go to find grass, but we're going to see what we can find. So um, we're going to check back in later. So, this little outside patio here is a place where Coda can use the restroom. And 
we don't have to go very far, just a floor or two. Because otherwise, what do you do in the city? Because all of the grass is non-existent. We had dinner at Citizen Rail, which is located right in the hotel. It boasts an open kitchen and custom wood fire grill. So during dinner service, you'll have both fires going. So the left hand side would be for your heavy meats, your uh, pork, steak, and we'll be grilling over hickory and skeet. The right hand side will be fruit wood, mostly cherry, and that will be all your vegetables, seafood, where you don't want as heavy smoke. Uh, these are custom fabricated Dearborn Michigan. We had an absolutely delicious dinner. We started with a ribeye with a chimichurri sauce and grilled broccolini. And then we had a side of the coal roasted carrots with a sour cream. That was phenomenal. The special was a CR brisket burger. So of course we had to try the special with a brisket and short rib burger with some lettuce, onion, and tomato, and then sage and rosemary fries. It was delicious as well. And our bill came to a whopping zero dollars because we used our credit that came with our perks. We are having breakfast this morning at Citizen Rail, the same place that we ate our dinner last night. So I had the steak and eggs this morning and the steak was a, a flank steak. It was a great cut of meat and it was super, it was just perfectly done. Eggs over medium, really good. And then another star of the plate were the potatoes. The potatoes were crispy. I had the chilaquiles, which were very good. It all just tasted so fresh and so, uh, it was really, really good meal, really good meal. Once again, our bill came to zero dollars because it was part of our perks. So the question was, was the fancy hotel worth it? And the answer is, Yes. yes. Hoda, was it worth it?